Cherries here. Hey Cherry, how you doing? Hello everyone, how y'all doing? Hope you're doing well. Today, we're gonna be working on Coco's house, but before we get into that, if you saw my community tab recently, because by the way, we have a community tab now, claps for me, Um, I did post that we had a new villager move in. So before we get started on the actual build, I wanted to show off the new villager. I'm actually really excited for them. You can kind of tell who, I, who they are just by off the house, but without further ado, let's meet the new resident of Eldnew, aka Lionel's replacement. It's <laughs> it's Julia. Hey girl. Yep. Julia's the newest resident of the town. That's exciting. Uh, she was in my campsite on Saturday and I kind of just took her on a whim because I have no snooties currently on the island. So yay for that. That's exciting. We finally have another girl on the island. There are too many men and I just, I needed a change. So I'll probably like redecorate her house sometime in the future. But anyways, we're just going to get started on Coco's house. Here she is. <laughs> I'm going to do pretty much this whole dirt area. And yeah, with all that out of the way, we're just going to get right into it. Okay. Hang on, I lied. I'm realizing right now that when this video goes out, I'm also gonna have another community post go out because next video, I plan on making it a Q&A. And even though I've already asked this before in a previous video, I decided to ask again since we've gained a lot of new subscribers since that video. If you have any questions for me regarding anything that you wanna know, you just wanna get to know me, you wanna know who my favorite villager is, my least favorite villager, I don't know, anything. It doesn't even have to be Animal Crossing related. Go head on over to my community tab and leave a question down below. I'm gonna film that video on Friday the 19th, by the way. So try to get them in by the 18th, which is tomorrow when this video goes out. And um, if you're watching this after the 19th, sorry for wasting your time. We're gonna get right into the video. Coco, move. Lots of stuff have been happening on the island. I will tell you that right now. Anyway, so I have mentioned that Julia has moved in and that is very exciting. I have no idea what I wanna do here. That is very exciting. However, like I said in the community tab, I'm gonna keep mentioning the community tab by the way, so you might as well get used to it. Lots of drama has been occurring because Julia moved in. Um, As you know, she replaced Lionel and Lionel and Peck were actually very, very good friends. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And and I think because Lionel just kind of moved out on a whim without telling anybody and just had Julia replace him, uh, Peck was not really pleased by that. So let's just say it's only been a day since Julia's moved in and she already has an enemy on the island. Peck and Julia have beef and Julia doesn't even know who Peck is yet. So that's gonna be a mess. Um, by the way, this whole area that I'm working on, it's once again inspired by cheesecake underscore 2112. So shout out to that account. I'll leave a link to their Instagram down below for anybody who wants to see it. I'm kind of just trying to create like a nice little viewing spot. I'll put the Instagram post on screen that I'm trying to basically copy. Very cute, very fun. I wanted this area to be like a nice little cute spot for Coco. I feel like, you know, she is a bit of a creepy villager on the island, but she still deserves to have a nice spot to just kind of chill out on. I don't know about you, but I believe so. So I've kind of created this little space over here. And now I'm going to go down over there and grab all my hedges because by the way, I've moved all my hedges to this spot right here. You can see um, they used to be right behind my museum, but eh, I kind of figured like there, I'm going to work on the area behind the museum really soon. So I just kind of wanted to clear out that space. So now everything's over here. That's very fun. Okay. So in other news, in terms of island drama, something traumatic has happened to me. I'm very scarred by it. I'm still scared when I think about it. But yesterday I was walking on the beach and all of a sudden a nice little bottle showed up and obviously Obviously, every time a bottle shows up, I get excited because that means it's possibly a new DIY for me to learn. And you will never guess which villager sent me a DIY. <laughs> you can already tell by how pissed off I am who sent me a DIY. It was Rodney. Y'all, Rodney sent me a DIY. Rodney. Rodney is taunting me right now. And I don't know how to feel about it. I feel so, I just feel so like uncomfortable with the fact that Rodney knows where I live to the point where he could send me. Yeah, obviously it wasn't addressed to me. I'm still going to assume that Rodney knows where I live. I'm very scared right now. Rodney is coming for me and I'm very nervous. This happened before. I don't know if y'all remember, but one of my villager hunts that I did back in January, Peck sent me a DIY bottle. And then a month later, he moved into the island. So all I got to say is I have to brace myself and I don't know if I want to <laughs> I just oh god I just I feel him coming I feel the wrath of the ugly hamster that is Rodney oh my god 
Um, anyways, yeah, um, you saw me grab some things. I'm trying to like, basically I am sort of copying that area. Once again, I did visit their dream address. So like, I know how the area looks because I have a bunch of screenshots of the place. So don't mind me as I copy the area right now. That is not where I want the stool to go. I am rambling. <laughs> I'm gonna put, uh, should I put another bush here? I might put a weed here instead. I will, however, put a bush right here. Cute, cute. What do we think? I think the area's coming along nicely already. I'm gonna plant another tree here. Yeah, very cute. And I'm also gonna put one, yeah, like right here. Just cause we all know me. I love my trees. Shout out to trees. Ooh, that really did help <laughs> with the overall thing. Um, I'm gonna just fence off this area right now so I don't forget. I'm just gonna put a hedge here and here and then I'm probably gonna leave this space empty and then just use some barbed wire and kind of create a little a little thing yeah I'm gonna put it here and then I'm gonna do the same thing one two three does that look cute no I'm gonna move it down hang on I don't know what I'm trying to do here I'm gonna put the fencing over here instead if you can hear my laptop fan in the background sorry there's literally nothing I can do about it I think instead I'm gonna put a hedge here instead I think the hedges by the way the hedges and the barbed wire fencing I think they go really well together I don't know if it's just me but yeah I just think they look great together so shout out to the fences what the f am I saying I don't even know um I'm gonna put a tree right here cute 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 I don't want to cut uh, that's a lie I do want to cover this area up in trees we all know me I love my trees hmm. now what am I gonna put in this area I'll just use the stone fencing since I have a lot of those if you put fencing the areas next to the fence so like this area right here nothing will spawn their fossils or anything like they're not gonna spawn there so that's kind of why I like to fence off the areas I might go back in and just add some hedges and bushes behind the trees just to like fill in the area but nah, for now it'll do next up I want to put this gravestone over here because I don't know about y'all but Coco like I said I get bad vibes from Coco very not bad vibes I get strange vibes from Coco I just the other day and by the other day once again I mean last night Wiss was like right over here. I'll put a photo of like <laughs> what my encounter was. Wisp was just hanging out near Coco's house. And you might be thinking like Wisp always just randomly spawns on the third tier of your island. But Wisp has been spawning by Coco's house. Like every single time he's on my island, he spawns by Coco's house. It's so creepy. And I just like, I'm telling you guys like Coco, I know you have a secret. You need to just, <laughs> I just, I don't trust her. Okay. Like she, she's hiding something. She's hiding something she has big plans for this island and I just I don't trust her okay I have my suspicions anyways yeah I'm gonna put this zen style stone right here just because I feel like she would appreciate having some <laughs> gravestones and stuff near her house I don't know it's just my personal opinion I think gravestones by Coco's house would be cute I don't know what I'm trying to say <laughs> sorry um, while I'm figuring this area out, I obviously have some more drama that I want to share with you guys. Yeah, that's cute. Okay, so as we all know, I mentioned this in the last video, Drago had like this kind of secret meeting with Dobie, right? And I had no idea what happened. He wouldn't tell me what was going on, but I assumed that it had something to do with Lionel because, you know, Lionel has been giving Drago a hard time. And lo and behold, Lionel recently moved out. So I'm pretty sure Double O Dobie Obi took care of it for Drago. But you want to know what the weird thing about this whole situation is? Is that now Drago is hanging out with Peck and Coco. I caught them all chilling together in the plaza this morning. And I don't know how to feel about that. Drago being friends with Peck and Coco. I don't mind him being friends with Coco, but being friends with Peck? Girl, that's a little weird. I don't know about you, but that seems a little weird. I don't know what's going on over there, but I'm just, you know, I'm just not going to get involved. I think it'd be best for all of us if I just did not get involved. I never understand the spacing of the green leaf pile. Like every time I try to put it, I don't know or how you're supposed to fit it. I don't know, it's weird. But speaking of the whole, why are you staring at me? I don't trust you, bitch. Don't look at me, thank you, go away. <laughs> Even though I'm working on your house. Yeah, so I think my messy ass once again wants to make assumptions and I'm pretty sure Drago is only hanging out with Peck because he's trying to cover for the fact because like I said Peck is really mad at the fact that Lionel just kind of left without any explanation at least you know he thinks he just kind of randomly left this looks cute right I think that looks cute what do y'all think so I'm pretty sure that Drago is starting to be all buddy buddy with Peck just so that Peck doesn't assume that Drago had something to do with him moving out not that like he would I don't know <laughs> why would anybody assume Drago had something to do with it 
but I don't know. But I guess Drago's just trying to be careful or whatever. This area is really starting to come along, but I'm worried that I'm trying to like, I don't want to copy the area completely. So I'm going to start to like try to, I'm going to try to like do my own thing now. <laughs> so I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm sorry. I'm rambling. Okay, so anyway, speaking of Lionel, at least before he moved on and moved out of the island, he did make up with Hugh, thank God, because if you remember from my last video, they were fighting. Um, They're no longer fighting, thank God. They are, well, Dobie specifically brought them both to Town Hall, and he had like some kind of weird exercise to get them to bond with each other. Cherry and Pom Pom were supposed to come to that thing too, but they didn't. It really was just Hugh and Lionel that made up, which at least, you know, it worked for them because they were friends again so at least Lionel left the island on good terms with Hugh instead of bad terms. I have an idea for what I want to do. Hang on I'm gonna need this bamboo over here. Also by the way I don't know if I mentioned this but like this whole area that's like sunken I do have an idea for what I want to do I just I don't know when I'm gonna do it so it will be done for a video though so please stay tuned for that. Granted I don't know when I'm gonna even upload that <laughs> or even build that. And speaking of villagers who made up with each other uh Teddy and Tom they also made up thank god because like I said, those two are neighbors. Um, I Once again, this morning, I caught them hanging out in the plaza together and they were like running around being all cute and stuff. So it's nice to see them bond with each other again because like I said, Teddy and Tom are really cool dudes and I hate to see them fight each other. Does that look cute? I kind of like that. I'm going to leave that. I think it's cute. I do want to leave like most of this area like empty just so that you actually have space to walk around. So might just leave it like this for now. Maybe come back and add some things but I think it's pretty cute very spacious overall I'm gonna put some items by this tree just to make it look more interesting I am copying cheesecake when I do this I'm just putting this bucket and this rock I know they did that too so actually I'm gonna put a pattern underneath this bucket where's my puddle just because I think that would make it look more dynamic I don't know if that's the right word to use but more drama Tom and Pom Pom they made up but they fought again very annoying um this morning once again Pom Pom was like by her house thinking so I was assuming she was trying to move out um turns out she wasn't she was just really sad that her and Tom fought and I had to once again intervene you know just solve the problem Pom Pom got a gift for Tom I had to give the gift to Tom for her because Pom Pom can't do shit for herself sorry not sorry but yeah luckily I think they're gonna make up again because of me so shout out to me for once again solving everybody's problems I literally am the backbone of this island I don't care what anybody says and speaking of Pom Pom I've mentioned this already but I'm gonna mention it again her and cherry are still fighting they are still fighting literally like last week i think i oh my god it was the stare down of the century i was walking by and cherry and pom pom were just grilling each other to filth they were just staring down each other i thought someone was gonna throw hands it was crazy <laughs> And then, oh my God, speaking of throwing hands, guess what? They actually did throw hands at each other. They got into a huge scrap. Like we were all hanging out together and got so messy. Like they were literally yelling and screaming at each other. I of course was living for it, but Teddy, Tom and Hugh were all freaking out. Coco for some reason was there too. She was just kind of standing in the back watching us. I noticed her. She thinks I didn't notice her, but I noticed her. I know you're onto us. I don't trust you. I think I'm just gonna add like a bunch of weeds just to kind of fill in the space and make it look more interesting. Do y'all agree with me on that? Speaking of the museum, like I said, I got rid of all the bushes and trees that were behind here. Now there's just a bunch of furniture lying around, but I will clear those up eventually too. I think I'm just gonna grab all these weeds and just plant them in that area. Shout out to weeds. Speaking of the whole cherry and pom pom scrap, um, we still don't know why they're fighting. None of us know. We're trying to figure it out, but it just seems, it seems so weird. It seems too personal. We, like at first, like it just looked like they were just being girls and like, you know, girls fight for some reason and it wasn't too serious. But like I said, since that scrap, we like the boys and I, we've all been very concerned. Teddy tried to talk to pom pom the other day and figure out what was going on. She wouldn't say anything. She kept her mouth shut. She was being 
stubborn. It was very annoying. Um, and nowadays, every time we try to hang out with either Cherry or Pom Pom, we have to hang out with them separately. We can't hang out together or else if the other person finds out, they're going to get very mad. So because of that, it's been kind of annoying. I've noticed though that Teddy has been kind of hanging out a lot more with Cherry, obviously, since they're dating. And Hugh's been hanging out a lot with like Pom Pom. He hangs out with Cherry too, though. But like, I've noticed that he's been hanging out with Pom Pom a lot more lately. I don't know what the whole spiel is. I really just hope that they can get along again. Because like I said, they were besties at one point. They were besties. So the fact that they're fighting now, it's just so crazy to me. I just, uh, I'm over it. <laughs> That's all, I'm over it. I don't know what I want to do with this big empty space in the middle. So I think I'm just going to leave it for now. And we're going to start working on like this area over here behind Coco's house. Don't know exactly what I want to do. One thing's for sure, I want to put this clothesline pole somewhere behind the house. I think I'm going to like stick it behind this tree just to make it look cute. And probably just some more fencing because you can never go wrong with too much fencing on your island. If you're ever stuck and you're not sure what to put in an area, just add a lot of fencing. Shout out to fencing. I'm gonna grab some of the bushes that I have over here <laughs> instead. I have I have too many bushes. I think two's enough. And we're gonna just fence off the area. I'm not sure exactly what I want to do past this path yet over here. All I know is that I'm gonna extend this cliff out and have it go behind the museum and have like a nice little area. Kind of. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure it out. Like I said. So give me like another few months. I think I'm gonna work on like Coco's actual house first though, just because I kind of know what I want to do. Once again, inspire by cheesecake 2112 first off coco you need to move i definitely want to have some fencing oh i have a clay furnace though first things first i want to give coco the clay furnace just because i think the clay furnace in general a very nice item and it definitely works for coco's house so we're gonna put that like right here and then what am i gonna put on like either side i think i'm gonna put hedges well i'm gonna put a hedge over here i don't want to work on that area just yet do i have like a plant of some kind we're gonna give her some plants just because i think coco would appreciate some plants. I don't know about you. I only have one nearby. Dang it. Ooh, I have a fossil in my inventory. Never mind. I'm gonna put the fossil instead. I'm gonna put the plant right here. Nope. Why won't it let me? That's very rude. And where are the hedges? I think I'm just gonna like plop some hedges right here just to create like a little entryway immediately off the ramp into Coco's little yard. What can I put over here? Do I want to put the fossil or do I want to put this? I think I'm gonna put this fossil instead. Cute. Cute. Nice and simple. <laughs> Animal Crossing makes some weird decisions sometimes and I try my best not to question it, but sometimes they're just very questionable. <laughs> so um, next I'm gonna work on the little pathway right next to Coco's house. I'm gonna put one there. Ooh, I'm debating if I should put one more. Cute, cute. And I wanna line this area up with like trees and bushes as well. So I have trees in my inventory. They're not fully grown though. So we're just gonna have to deal with that. Coco is like watching, <laughs> watching me work on her house. She doesn't trust me. I know for a fact she does not trust me. So sadly, you're not gonna be able to see this area when it fully grows but I will make sure to show it off when it does so be on the lookout for that I'm gonna put some hedges here I might move just to like get rid of the awkward space in between I'm gonna move these in one who cares if the trees clip through it that's not my problem and ooh, what am I gonna put here on this side of the path don't exactly know might put a utility pole since I have one on me right here or, yeah I guess that works we'll just push it in and probably some weeds over here just because you can never have too many weeds on your island despite what Isabel says what do I have on me that I could put Ooh, maybe this and like this maybe customize them I wish there were more design options for the cardboard chair as well just because like I think one is not enough I don't know like maybe like a white box and like a more worn down box as well we just need more like worn down items in general in the game I feel like traffic cone right there cute cute and should I plant a tree you think you could have too many trees on your island I'm gonna plant a tree right here just because I feel like this area is calling for one I've also officially run out of trees on my island or cedar trees specifically so that's why I have a bunch in my pocket I know for a fact I'm gonna plant a yellow mum right there it's obviously gonna grow but I think it looks cute at that stage I wish there was a way to stunt the flower growths on land Ooh, I have a fossil we might as well put the fossil over here i feel like it goes with these like graveyards or gravestone like items don't y'all think i don't know if that's just me 
gonna grab another utility pole because I have too many of them. So I need to start using them and maybe put it right next to this cone. Cute. I'm gonna stick one down on the second tier right behind this little viewing deck just to make the area look more interesting. Hopefully it works. Like right here, I feel like it'll look good. I'm not mad at that. That looks cool. <laughs> In my very biased opinion, I think it works. And I'm probably just gonna zhuzh up the whole area off camera because I don't really know what else I want to put. Maybe like something right here. Do I have anything that I could put right there? Uh, maybe this garbage can. And yeah, I think I'm gonna call it there. So let's give the final walkthrough. Obviously, like I said, the trees and flowers haven't grown yet, but we're just gonna have to deal with that for the video. Um, So coming up this area, we have this nice little viewing deck over here. Sadly, the viewing deck doesn't look out onto anything yet. Give me another month and hopefully it'll look better. So we have some gravestones over here and like some magazines. This is obviously Coco's little yard. So she kind of likes to come out here maybe and do some stuff. Maybe summon some demons. Who knows? Coco clearly has a secret and I will find out what it is one day. Here's Coco's house, by the way. Gave her a nice little clay furnace and a fossil and plants. She has a garbage bin, of course, because everybody deserves a garbage bin. And we have this nice little cute area over here. And yeah, I feel like that was a very quick video. Hopefully it was kind of entertaining to watch. I feel like I was rambling too much. But yeah, we're now at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Even if you skipped to the end or clicked off, still means a lot to me that you took the time to check it out. I'm gonna go now though. So if you like the video, then like the video. Comment down below anything you wanna comment down below and also check out my community tab. If you wanna leave any questions for the Q&A, you might be featured. So definitely recommend doing that. And yeah, most importantly, subscribe. I also want to say just like thank you so much to everybody who's been subscribing recently we've gained so many subs over the last week it's crazy another thing i want to thank you all for is just everybody who watched my first stardew valley video i do plan on doing more of those like i said i'm just not entirely sure when um how or how often i'm gonna upload them but yeah with all that out of the way i have not much else to say so bye i am just gonna pray for the fact that coco doesn't eat me alive while i'm sleeping that fossil right there in front of the bamboo stump like i I think that's the best fossil in the game. It is so underrated. I have no idea how it's pronounced, but it's still very cute. So shout out to Blathers for, wait, Blathers doesn't make the fossils. Never mind. Shout out to Animal Crossing for the amazing fossil designs. Anyways, bye. You know what's really funny is that as soon as I finished recording, once again, I immediately went back and added some more things like this nice little crack design over here or this manhole cover with a puddle underneath it and these moss pebbles where I'm gonna put a firework on, those little like used firework cannon thingies. Yeah, I don't know why I always do this. I always just go back immediately after I finish recording and add some things. But yeah, I figured I would just show it off <laughs> right at the end of the video. So now I'm officially done this area. So.